A tiny metro area community is in a big dispute about how it's spending taxpayer money. There's not a lot of money at stake, but tempers are on edge in the little town of Braswell. The city manager cursed and threatened Richard Belcher when he started asking questions. Richard's here now with our Whistleblower 2 investigation. It is hard to say anything with certainty about the finances in the city of Braswell. The clerk was helpful, but she says she can't vouch for anything as far back as two years. However, our whistleblowers do, and they have records to back up their questions. Now, getting answers from the mayor and his father, that's another matter. We came in on Braswell Mountain Road. There isn't much to the town, a couple of hundred people, a city hall and police department, a couple of subdivisions, and their city manager, Alan Fennell. Who are you, sir? Cut it off. Hell no, I don't want your stinking damn car. I told you cut that damn camera off, Excuse buddy. Me. Excuse me. Plus his son, Braswell Mayor Richard Fennell. If you're going you to criticize me, get your stuff straight. We came to Braswell because some of its residents came to us complaining that they get little for their city taxes. Their police department is part-time. This is the city park. Hey, and then here's another, 50 -0. But what got us really interested was what former city bookkeeper, Exeter McClure, uncovered in Braswell's records. Have you been able to find any justification? For no, it? no justification whatsoever. Ms. McClure and her husband gave us several examples, like the mayor's purchase of a $281 baseball glove and a $197 bat with a city credit card. We have no ball teams. Do you have a rec league or anything? No, sir. Don't sponsor anybody, nothing. No girls softball team. No girls softball. No city council softball nope. team. Nothing. In fact, as we discovered during our visit, there aren't enough people on the city council to field a team. But Mayor Fennell explained that he gave the equipment to a little league team. There's no written record to support that. Then there was $1,600 to Sam's Club in Circuit City for a 42-inch flat-screen TV mounting bracket and fancy sound system. The receipt identified the purchaser as Braswell Country Palace, a bar owned by the mayor's father. But the mayor told the council the equipment was stolen from City Hall. No one has produced a police report of the theft. But I think somebody needs to explain, you know, these purchases and why the taxpayers are footing the bill for things that has no, nothing to do with city business. According to city bank statements, there were eight cash withdrawals totaling nearly $2,000. One of those withdrawals was made at the Dark Horse Tavern in Atlanta, 48 miles from Braswell. I tried to question the mayor about that. Now, that's a bull. I, now, you're lying now, buddy. And then there's the electrical cable. We spotted it running right across Braswell Mountain Road from City Hall to a private building under construction and owned by city manager Alan Fennell. Our whistleblowers asked for records to, to establish that Mr. Fennell is actually repaying the city for the electricity. But to date, City Hall has given them no explanation. And Mr. Fennell? So let me ask you a question. I, you don't ask me nothing. Well, I, you don't ask I'm just me wondering anything. how it is, you, how it is you get electrical power for your private project. Get that damn camera out of my face. And I mean for you, easy yeah, now, yeah, easy yeah, now, yeah, you, easy you now, buddy. Easy now. You better him watch easy it, man. I'll break now. your neck. Easy now. It's really not even to me the amount of money. It's the principal to see that they're doing this, padding their pockets. That's just not right. That is just not right. We made our request for documentation about some unexplained city of Braswell checks three weeks ago tomorrow, but the city clerk has not provided us anything. And the McClures made their request, a formal open record request for several documents, 18 days ago. Still, no answers, no documents. But the McClures tell us they've already met with GBI agents who are beginning to ask their own questions. Go to WSBTV.com if you'd like to see more of our introduction to Braswell City Manager, Alan Fennell. John?